Welcome to Robo Enchip. Once upon a time, about three million years ago, there was a shark so big it could gulp down a whale sandwich for lunch. Meet the Megalodon, the biggest, baddest, bite eyest shark to ever roam the seas. But where did it go? Why isn't there a Megalodon in your local aquarium? Let's dive into this fishy mystery. Megalodon was huge. It was bigger than your school bus. Yes. That's Megalodon for you, 60 feet long. Let's look at this visual comparison. First up, climate change. No, not the modern kind. Back then, the Earth was entering an ice age. Temperatures dropped, and so did ocean levels. The warm tropical waters that Meg Ladon loved began to shrink, replaced by colder seas. And then there was competition. Around this time, smaller, faster predators like killer whale ancestors entered the sea. They were smarter, more adaptable, and ready to grab the same food Megalodon hunted, whales, seals, and big fish. With fewer snacks to go around, Megalodon faced a food shortage. Even the king of the sea can't survive on an empty stomach. Megalodon babies needed shallow coastal waters to grow up safely. Think of it like a daycare for baby sharks. But as sea levels dropped during the Ice Age, those nurseries disappeared. Without these safe spaces, Megalodon babies were more vulnerable to predators and their numbers began to dwindle. So, why did Megalodon go extinct? It wasn't just one thing. Climate change, competition for food, and the loss of nurseries all played a role. These factors combined to create a perfect storm that even this ocean giant couldn't survive. But while Megalodon is gone, it left behind incredible fossils and a legacy as one of the most awe-inspiring creatures to ever roam the seas. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives into the mysteries of the past. Until next time, keep exploring.